Hello, this is Leila from Radakat. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of the fact table and dimension table, and we are going to see that uh, what is matter that actually we have them. So you heard about the star schema and before creating any reports, it's better that we have our fact and time engine table ready. We are going to have a deep look on why we need them. Uh, so uh, transactional database, uh, if you're coming from the IT background, you know that we store for the retrieval the data and for easy uh, update, delete and insert the data and the rows inside the database. We normally use the transactional database that most of the scenario, there are many tables and they are normalized and they are really good for uh, data retrieval and delete and update the rows. But uh, when we're talking about the uh, creating reports, it's a bit different. Uh, if we have lots of tables and we want to fetch information from each of them, we need to do lots of join and uh, merge between the tables and getting the data can be a bit hard from different tables. I have an example that uh, I think everyone faced on that. So when we go for shopping and we want to store our uh, items that we shop, we or, uh, normally put them in a specific space. For example, we have a specific place for spicers, for um, garden tools, for painting, and every place we have actually put uh, the things that we able to easily catch them. So we're doing that because we want to, when we access to them, we know where they are and there's a specific location for them. But uh, when we want to actually do something with them, for example, I want to create, I want to cook a cake or some cooking, what I do actually, I'm going to grab everything from the storage and put it everything close myself so I can easily do the cooking or if I want to do the gardening, I'm going to get everything uh, from the case and from the shelves and bring everything close to myself because uh, if for each item I'm going and access and back is take me a bit time so what we do actually we put everything first beside our so we know that what we are going to work on that I can say this can be similar not the exact scenario but similar scenario to what we have so in the transactional database we put everything in a specific place and we don't worry about that how much uh, kind of the link between the tables they are there the important thing is that we able to store the data and able to access the data that we have and each table talk about one concepts but when we do actually uh, reporting database or data warehouse that we call it is actually we are going to put uh, everything closer to what we want i'm not saying that we are going to mix everything to the one table we don't do that it's not recommended but at least we create a star schema that has a fact table in the middle a table that has all of the uh, numeric information and everything that want to create whole uh, whole on that and then other attribute that we have that we call it fact and dimension so let's see that uh, actually how it work but uh, before that so we normally have this structure instead of having a transactional database with lots of data we uh, for example for the one of the example for the product instead of having three table for product that is dim product sub product category and for example product category we put everything as a one product so we put actually as close as to what we are going to create the report. So these are the main facts that I'm going to create the report. This can be sales amount, order quantity, and uh, I'm going to analyze that based on the theme product. So if we put everything closer to that in just one table. I'm not going to mix all of them together, no, but uh, still it's uh, every table around that. They talk about one things, but uh, not as here that is actually distributed. So before we going to talk about uh, the star schema, uh, we have two types of the table in data warehouse uh, or for creating reports. One of them is dimension. Dimension is any descriptive value that we have regarding one concept. So for example, for the customer dimension uh, in transactional database, maybe we have a separate table, for example, for demographic and separate table uh, for the address of customer, but we put here everything regarding the customer in one 
table, customer name, age, geo information, contact information, job, and other information. As much as information we have about this table, this dimension, that is, for example, here is customer, it helps us to have a better reporting. So uh, we are going to analyze uh, uh, the items that we want to get more insight over that regarding the dimensions. So here in this example, I want to get more insight over sales amount, and I'm going to analyze it regarding different dimensions. For example, I'm going to analyze it here regarding the customer information. So sales amount by last name, sales amount by English education of customer, sales amount by gender of customer. So as you can see, I have a fact, I have a numeric value that I'm going to analyze in regarding different dimension and this dimension shouldn't be just text it can be date it can be year uh, number like yearly income over here so it can be different type so the only thing is the concepts of that that is actually the attribute that able to define and slice and dice the number that i have that i call it for example here as a fact or numeric value or any fact uh, concepts that we have we are going to analyze that and help us to slice and dice so what is fact table anything fact table are holding numeric and additive data normally not always in the next example you will see you will see that it's not exactly that but it's all about that is actually you want to uh, kind of create a concepts around that so most of the time it should be numeric and it should be actually that we can aggregate it to see that and we are going for example to analyze the sales amount regarding different dimension regarding the customer dimension regarding the date regarding the geographic and the other so it's a numeric that actually uh, we are going to analyze that and to analyze it regarding the other table we need to hold the foreign key from other dimensions so here, so in the same example, sales amount is our fact or numeric value that we have over here. So in the, uh, when I'm talking about the bringing everything close together, I doesn't mean that put everything in the same table. No, it's a, not a good practice. Why is not? The first thing is the, uh, the performance thing of the table and keeping updated is become really hard so uh, we prefer to actually have everything as a dimension around that and then analyze that so this is a uh, this is how actually we want to analyze we don't put everything in a one we actually have a one fact table one table that holds the numeric value and regarding that we are going to do the analyze uh, so uh, why we should say no to a single table that is include everything so definitely one of them is the uh, kind of the is a big maintenance job so uh, for example here uh, as you can see I have information regarding the sales amount and order quantity and the customer information. If I want to analyze the sales amount regarding other attributes like product, then I get trouble and I need to add another one. And uh, there is a challenge that actually I need to merge a lot of table together. I get a huge table that maintenance of that it can be a bit hard. Maybe we want to update the product number and we need to update these huge tables. So it's become a bit hard to maintain us I think one of the things and another one is actually is that they may be not in the same grain so I have an example over here that uh, I have a data that's talking about the budget and it's quarterly I have another data that is talk about the sales and it's daily if I want to merge them as a together they are not in the same scale I need to divide the budget to four to cal uh, kind of to uh, calculate that based on the each month or maybe uh, you know divided by 102 to become a daily grain so lots of calculation happen and is not the best practice uh, so it's not a good idea we need lots of merging in that scenario so when we talk about bringing everything together it doesn't mean to create a one big file what we mean to is actually we want to have a uh, actually a fact table in the middle and some dimension around that so it's something between having a transactional database and having everything in a one file so it's something between that 
one of the important about the dimension that uh, in next video I'm going to mainly talk about that is that in dimension table we have lots of attribute because dimension is helping us to slice and dice our fact and our numeric value that we have or any fact data that we have so as much as item we have for a slice and dice that fact table is better so it's really good to be wide but normally it's not has a deep or is not is very shallow I mean few item in that one of the thing is that it shouldn't be duplicated there so it's not definitely a deep table is a bit shallow and few item in the rows but it has lot it should have lots of item on the column once factable is a different scenario factable it's maybe have doesn't have that many columns but it can hold lots of transactional database that actually uh, help us to better analyze that so this is a one of the very best practice of the fact table that we have and the data warehouse we have as you can see fact table located in the middle and the other uh, dimension that is product customer and promotion they are on other side and they are actually try to slice and dice this table so this is a best practice to be honest not in real world we have that clean things i couldn't see in most of project we have that clean data warehouse it's good if we have definitely but sometimes some of our design doesn't allow us in next video that he's talking about the how we can actually create a fact and dimension model from using Power Query to create them. Uh, I'm going to show you an example that I get the data from a um, service named Sessionize that helping for organizing conference and getting decisions and creating a schedule. So you will see that how I'm able to actually to doing that uh, but uh, that's really important that we actually have the dimension as fact table as a separate one and be able to create a design if you don't ha if you have everything in one table as here i'm not saying that you couldn't create visualization yes you still you can but the maintenance and other calculation become very hard so we uh, totally recommend it to create a data warehouse and a star schema uh, model to uh, better do the reporting. Thanks so much for watching this video.